Welcome my dear learners for this course on mechanical vibrations. In this module 1 we were discussing on undamped and damped free vibration systems. So far we have solved 4 numerical problems on determination of natural frequency of free undamped vibrating systems. Let us continue our discussion on analysis of free undamped vibrating systems. The problem number 5 of our discussion states that determine the natural frequency of the system shown in figure. Now, Moving ahead to solve problem number 5, if I carefully observe, we have a pulley and we have a spring. When I give displacement for this pulley, the pulley rolls over the surface and it moves forward and also it is subjected for torsional vibration. And this spring will be deflected in the linear direction by an amount x. Now, let us solve this problem number 5. As usual, if I move for energy method from energy method, what we can write? Energy method states that kinetic energy plus potential energy is constant. Now, what is the kinetic energy of the system? Kinetic energy of the system is because of two types of displacements one is linear displacement of the pulley which is rolling over the surface and this pulley is subject for torsion so therefore for the linear movement what i can write half m v square x dot square plus the torsional vibration of this pulley is accounted by half instead of mass for torsional systems i should substitute i Instead of x, I should substitute theta. So it is half theta dot square. Correct? Plus the kinetic energy of spring is half kx square. This is constant. Right? Now what is the value of x? So we have pulley like this. So if it rolls over, it makes an angle theta like this. So therefore, what is the moment x? So x is equal to r theta. x equals r theta, correct? When pulley rolls over the surface, it is subject for torsional vibration and also the moment is linear. Therefore, x related to theta is given by x is equal to r theta. Now, if I make substitutions for this, the mass moment of inertia of pulley is known for us. It is half mr square. The radius is r. So therefore, if I substitute and simplify it properly, I will get half mx dot. x should be replaced by r theta. So x dot is r theta dot square plus half times i is half mr square theta dot square plus half kx square is equal to constant sorry x should be replaced by r theta replace x by r theta now if i simplify throughout properly i will end up with half mr square plus 1 by 4 mr square which is nothing but 3 by 4 mr square theta dot square plus half k times r square theta square is equal to constant correct 4 is the lcm 2 plus 1 is 3 3 by 4 mr square half kx square r square theta theta square is equal to c now what I will do is that I want to get the standard equation for calculation of natural frequency that is x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0. Now to obtain acceleration I should differentiate this with respect to time hence differentiate with respect to time t. If I differentiate this with respect to time t what I will get I end up with 3 by 4 mr square differentiation of theta dot square is 
2 times theta dot differentiation of theta dot is d theta dot by dt is theta double dot plus half kr square differentiation of theta square is 2 theta derivative of theta with respect to time d theta by dt is velocity that is theta dot which is equal to derivative of constant is 0. Now further simplifying which these two and these two will get cancelled to 1s are to 2s are 4. So hence what I can write theta dot times 3 by 2 mr square theta double dot plus kr square theta is equal to 0. Send this theta dot to RHS it will vanishes and now converting this into standard form I should throw out divide by 3 by 2 mr square because in the standard form the coefficient of acceleration should be unity. So therefore if I simplify it further throw out divide by the coefficient of acceleration I end up with theta double dot plus 2k r square r square will get cancelled divided by 3m 2k by 3m theta is equal to 0 now compare this equation with the standard equation that is theta double dot plus omega n square theta is equal to 0 hence the natural frequency omega n is root of 2k by 3m therefore f n is equal to omega n by 2 pi that is 1 by 2 pi root of 2k by 3m hence I will get omega n and f n as substitute the values what he has specified for us square root of 2 times k is 4 kilo newton per meter always make a note that it should be substituted in newtons per meter very very important don't substitute in kilo newton substitute in newton per meter hence it is 2 into 4000 divided by 3 times mass is 4 kg so therefore I will get the natural frequency as 25.82 radians per second 25.82 radians per second r is the superficial data here now divide this by 2 pi hence I will get the natural frequency as 4.11 hertz hertz let me cross check the answer once again 2 into 4000 divided by 3 into 4 it is 25.82 radians per second 4.11 hertz correct next move for problem number 6 if I move for solution of problem number 6 how it will be deflected so it will be pivoted at this point correct and it will be deflected like this so if I deflect it I can observe it as so this is the datum I have so at this point it will get deflected right so it will get deflected like this or in the opposite sense if this is theta this must be theta correct Th that must be theta since this length is not equal to this length I will call this as x and this deflection as y right so I am analyzing it by deflecting it like this or you can also deflect it like this and analyze now what is the deflection x x should be equal to what from the figure x is equal to r theta how much is this length 0.8 l here it is 0.2 l let us call this pivot point as o for analysis let us call this pivot point as o hence i can write the value of x as 0.8 l theta whereas the value of y as 0.2 l theta 
now i can analyze this problem from energy method what i can write from energy method sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy is constant right what is the kinetic energy of mass half mv square that is half m x dot square plus half kx square here it is ky square because the lengths are not same this must be constant now substitute the values and simplify i end up with half m value of x is 0.8 l theta 0.8 l is constant so therefore x dot will become 0.8 l theta dot so it is 0.8 l theta dot whole square plus half k y is 0.2 l theta whole square is equal to constant so in order to obtain the standard form i should split it and write properly half m 88 the 64 hence it is 0.64 l square theta dot square plus half k to 2 is a 4 the 0.04 l square theta square is constant is equal to constant now we have to obtain the standard form i should differentiate this equation with respect to time so therefore differentiate this equation with respect to time differentiating with respect to time if i differentiate this with respect to time t i will get half m 0.64 l square derivative of theta dot square is 2 theta dot into theta double dot plus half k 0.04 l square i'll get 2 theta into theta dot this must be equal to 0 because differentiation of constant is 0 now throughout i will take theta dot common and send it to rhs that is i'll take theta dot common here i can cancel of 2 and 2 these two and these two so if i cancel off like that i'll end up with m times 0.64 l square theta double dot plus k into 0.04 l square theta this is equal to 0 now send this theta dot to rhs zero by anything will become zero you know to obtain the standard form the coefficient of acceleration must be unity you know to obtain the standard form the coefficient of acceleration must be unity so therefore throughout divide this equation by 0.64 ml square so if we divide this equation throughout by 0.64 ml square i'll end up with theta double dot plus 0.04 l square by 0.64 l square into k by m into theta is equal to 0 what i have done i had sent this theta dot to rhs and then throughout i divided by the coefficient of acceleration always you should do that in this standard form the coefficient of acceleration is always unity so therefore throughout divide this by coefficient of acceleration that is 0.64 ml square i end up with this one hence this term is nothing but omega n square so therefore what is the value of omega n omega n will become l square l square will get cancel 0.04 by 0.64 i'll shift the zeros it is 4 by 64 that is 1 by 16 1 by 16 so therefore square root of k by 16 m is a simplification cancel of l square and fn will be omega n by 2 pi that is 1 by 2 pi root of k by 16 m hence the natural frequency will become how much this square root of what is the value of k k is 1 kilonewton per meter 
always remember we should substitute the stiffness in newton per meter hence the value of k is 1000 divided by 16 times the mass is 10 kg so if i solve i'll get the natural frequency as 2.5 radians per second so root of 1000 divided by 16 into 10 correct 2.5 divide this by 2 pi if i divide this by 2 pi i will get the frequency fn as approximately 0 0.4 hertz 0 0.397 approximately it is equal to 0 0.4 hertz so this is the complete solution for problem number 5 and 6 that's all from this lecture thank you all